Hey, it's John, RMUS. We're taking a quick look at uh, a light system that we set up, um, configuration on an M210. We're able to turn some things on and off. We're running a separate battery power system. But let's take a little close look at that. Uh, normally we're going to see like green lights on this one side, but some of the requests have been to actually add a uh, blue light for um, police, uh, kind of a police setup. XC2 up on the front. We can manually shut this off with a switch up here on the top so we can turn it off. And as we take a little close look at the radio here after we get up and take a look at that, we can actually do that remotely. So we just are turning that on and off with the I.O. switch. And we can see we can turn it off and then turn it back on. So we're individually, we're individually controlling this so that you can actually physically turn it off on a switch if you want to, or you can do that remotely if you want to. So visually, let's just kind of take a look at what it looks like, Adam. Let's go ahead and put it up in the air. And let's take, uh, let's talk to Eric real quick about some of the importance of the lighting because you guys have been, you guys have been doing a lot of uh, initially lighting stuff, you know. So come on in a little bit. So when you're taking off and you're flying, then you you, you oriented yourself on the obstacle, and then you may have it right not may not be right and left may not be left. So it's just a visual aid so that you know that if you see the green or the blue light on the right, then you know that. It's true, and it's facing away from yeah. you. Yeah, and a lot of the time, a lot of the times, you guys might have some difficulties with the pilots actually being able to see the lights very well. And guys on the ground, I've heard reporting back to you right. that even they being able to see uh, can help you orientate the, the bird if needed. Yeah, absolutely, you know, and that's helpful for them too. Your visual observer, if you're doing a split split flight back, then you may have a VO that's far off from you, and their radio back to you. That, okay, right's on the right, or red's on the right, or left, or whatever, and it gets you oriented. Once. Yeah. Yeah, so as far as piloting goes, you know, we've got Adam up there flying. And as far as piloting goes, um, with the lights on, with the lights off, we can see it pretty good. Uh, probably a little bit more difficult with the camera, really. But Adam, you know, what are you looking for when you're actually, what are you looking for when you're moving it around the sky? What I'm looking for is I can see the orientation of the lights. I can tell how far I am from the distance. I can tell which way the aircraft's looking at, left or right. Mm -hmm. And if I put it up further, I'm looking to see which way the aircraft's facing when I'm looking to track a suspect. Yeah. And I can uh, much more easily do that at a greater distance with the lights that's activated. Sure. Well, we've separated, the way that the lights are shining is they're, they're kind of separated to be able to beam out instead of all the way around. I think that helps with less confusion so that you don't see as much uh, green on one side or blue on the other. You know that you've actually turned. You know, it's just like a real aircraft. So right so, now I have the aircraft facing me. If I need to turn the lights off real quick, I can hit the button and turn the lights off. And now they're not uh, interfering with any of the police operation. And then if it's safe to do so, I can turn the lights back on and I can easily orient the aircraft at, at, at any distance. Well, very good. Well, just another one of those fun things we do. Um, our awesome tech, Lance, actually did this uh, this kind of setup. And uh, again, running a separate battery system here to keep and maintain the uh, brightness of the lights, which is really important, uh, running it this way. So thanks, guys. We'll take a look at uh, getting this out here, a little bit more information as we come along.